time in this place. Before we may be getting a break from the excessive heat, but for a family of bears cooling down, it always is a necessity, so why not jump in the pools? That's exactly what this mama bear and her two cubs did in Bradbury. And as you can see, they're having their own little pool party. But eventually, mama decides it's time to go, and her cubs follow suit. Thanks to Jimmy Klein and John Chadwick for sharing this wonderful video. Have a great night, everybody, at World News Tonight with David Mears coming up next. We'll see you later on. Tonight, breaking news as we come on the air. A chaotic scene here in New York City. Crowds battle with police in Union Square. Plus, severe weather targeting millions in the Northeast. And new developments in former President Trump's legal battles as he returns to the campaign trail. First, that massive crowd turns violent in Lower Manhattan. Thousands gather after a social media post promising free merchandise. Some throwing plywood, chairs, and other items. Subways bypassing stations. As many as 1,000 police officers rushing in to restore order. Some in riot gear, pelted by bottles. Several officers reportedly hurt. Trevor Alt on the scene tonight. As we come on the air, severe storms taking aim at the Northeast. Millions on alert from Pennsylvania to Maine. In the South, powerful storms bringing torrential rain. At least 10 people hurt in Alabama. And dangerous heat returns. Alerts from California to Florida. Rob Marciano timing it out. Former President Donald Trump, one day after his historic arraignment in Washington, entering a not guilty plea for the second time in as many days to the new charges in the classified documents case. The new ABC News Ipsos poll that shows a majority of Americans say the special counsel's election charges against Trump are serious, while a significant minority say the case is politically motivated. Trump now juggling growing legal battles with his campaign for president. Pierre Thomas covering it all. The significant development in the Gilgo Beach investigation. Another victim, Jane Doe number seven, identified a 34-year-old woman from Manhattan 27 years after she went missing. Overseas, the U.S. prepares to put American Marines on commercial ships in the Persian Gulf to protect against threats from Iran. Could this increase the risk of a broader conflict? The war in Ukraine, the dramatic attack on a Russian warship in the Black Sea by an apparent Marine drone. The ship seen limping back to port under tow. Ian panel from Ukraine tonight. The Idaho College murder suspect offers an alibi that doesn't help the prosecution. One of the biggest jackpots in American lottery history is just hours away. And America strong tonight, the teen in desperate need of a kidney, saved by an unlikely donor. <laughs> Friday night, I'm Wade Johnson in for David. Several developing stories as we come on tonight, but we begin with that tense scene here in New York City. Thousands of young people converging on Manhattan's Union Square Park after a social media influencer with 20 million followers announced a video game console giveaway at the park. The crowd growing very quickly, overwhelming the park, filling the streets, even underground, subways bypassing the station where several lines cross. Some turning violent, pelting officers with bottles and other objects, one using plywood as a shield. The NYPD issuing a level four mobilization. That's the highest level. As many as a thousand officers responding, some in riot gear, struggling to control the crowd. There are reports of injuries and many arrests. Young people describing the chaos after waiting for hours for the giveaway. Police say the crowd at Union Square has been dispersed, but there are smaller groups still roaming Manhattan and the drone technology now being deployed. ABC's Trevor All leads us off tonight on the scene at Union Square.